Formula E is a nice race series, actually uh, promoting the e-mobility going forward. We say we want to run the world without consuming the earth. So if I compare Formula One, now we stand here at the qualifying, right? <laughs> and we talk, we do an interview. Wouldn't be possible in Formula One, not at all. Yeah? So it would be in an enclosed cell. So. Um, it's, it's much easier to be at a Formula E race and much more convenient to participate than in Formula One. I think that's one difference. So if you look at electric mobility to, to really take it off, it's, I think it's four factors. You need uh, the right cars, which is appealing to buy, appealing to drive. And um, then you need the right charging infrastructure. So to overcome the, um, the fear of uh, being stuck somewhere and not being able to charge, uh, you need to have a certain reach as well, so the batteries, so charging infrastructure is very important. But now a good charging infrastructure also doesn't help you if the grid is not enforced properly, so we also need to look at the grid enforcement. And uh, last but not least, what I said is the renewables. We need to generate the electricity from renewables. Uh, if you have the power from renewables, then there is no emissions. When you think that the team started, we started like um, with one car, for all. So the only differentiation was more or less the drivers. Now we are in generation four or five now coming. So the new car is coming with a new battery. And, uh, but now the differentiation is that the complete drivetrain is picked by the team. So whatever you pick in on the drivetrain, on the motor or whether you have a gear or not, the software, the controls, how you do the recuperation mode, that is controlled by the individual teams. What kind of uh, motor do, concept do I use? Uh, how do I do my control strategy? And in all that going forward, you improve. The challenge to create electric cars. For me right now, it's mainly around the battery technology uh, because the, uh, to, that's also what we see. Uh, we have a lot of entrants into, uh, as car manufacturers all of a sudden, um, who, couldn't, uh, who couldn't build cars in the past. In, in the past, if you were an OEM, if you wanted to build a car, what you needed was a, an engine. So you needed to be able to build an engine, combustion engine, which was with uh, a lot of moving parts. We talk about uh, thousands of moving parts much more difficult than for an electric car, which has way less moving parts, where you have suppliers to buy the complete uh, drivetrain in. So you rather build a car around the drivetrain and the battery, which is much easier. See, the challenges going forward is how do you connect that car? How do you share the car? How do you probably share the battery and, and the asset? Yeah? So it's a, it's a different way of thinking. Look at that Formula One, you're a spectator. Formula E, you can do a fan boost. Yeah? It's a little thing, but you can do a fan boost. You can pick your driver, you can give him a boost, which I think is a very nice experience as well. And uh, what we also try with that Formula E, actually, of course, is bring electromobility forward. So we try to, to bring an industry forward. We try to bring behavior forward to change to electric driving. It's not yet that popular like Formula One, but it will become popular, I'm pretty sure.